All right, let's do a review of this video here by Not Now, Maybe Later. If you uh, aren't familiar with Not Now, Maybe Later, he's a guy from Oklahoma who does, uh, or up until recently did, First Amendment accountability, auditing kind of stuff. Uh, evidently, he's got a back history with the law, been arrested few times on probation, that kind of thing. Doesn't make a whole lot of money, can't afford a lawyer. In his current uh, case that is pending on this particular video that we're talking about here, uh, which is, in my opinion, foolish. Right? If you are um, if you're on probation, you can't afford a lawyer, whatever, you probably shouldn't be doing uh, auditing government uh, auditing, accountability auditing, activism, whatever you want to call it, All right? This has been uh, probably over a year. It's just now getting to trial. He's having to go to trial. Um, really believes he's going to win, you know, but he doesn't have a lawyer, right? You know what they say? Uh, what's, the, what's the old saying? Uh, the lawyer that... Uh, <laughs> How does it go? The, the, the guy who acts his own lawyer has a fool for a client. Well, there you go. You know, claims he can't get a public defender. He's been offered a couple deals. And, and, and honestly, I mean, he's got a good case, in my opinion. Um, he, but uh, I don't think he has the ability to pull it off himself. Right? You really need... You need somebody with some brains, and this guy's not really all that smart. You know, he's not an idiot or anything like that. He's an old country boy from Oklahoma, um, but I just don't see it happening for him. And the reason I like this case so much, again, is because this is uh, this this is an instance that happened in a library in Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? Where he just walks into the library, starts videoing. Um, at least that's where things pick up at, right? And the indication is that uh, nobody asked him to leave. Um, nobody told him he couldn't be videoing there. That you know, that's that's kind of the stance that he's taken, and that's kind of what's what's being led on in the video. And um, it's a library, right? So of course, these libraries have these policies that say you can't video for whatever reason. I don't know why, but uh, the question becomes again: Are these traditional venues for free speech, and I would argue that they are, right? The books in the library are written by authors expressing their free speech. You can go in the library, check the books out. There's art work on the wall, you know, that are expressions of free speech, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so I, I would say that these ordinances that these cities have against videoing in public libraries are unconstitutional. However, I haven't seen it adequately challenged yet. Uh, the first place that I've seen anybody actually, uh, actually, you know, providing any resistance is right here with not now, maybe later's current case. And he's just going about it stupidly. Um, and he's likely going to lose. However, Johnny Five O's got a very similar thing going on out in California, so it may be a little bit more interesting to watch that. But let's take a look at this video and see what actually occurred. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this is what a jury's going to see and hear. Now, notice. He's huffing and puffing, right? So he's out of breath. And he's up on the, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, he's up on the third floor of this library. So he's, he's uh, I don't know, he must have walked the stairs up or whatever, um, did it in a hurry sufficiently that he's huffing and puffing, right? So why would he be out of breath? Why would he be huffing and puffing? If he's just, you know, casually walking around the library video and, and, the, and the video picks up with him on the third floor. Okay, thanks for the report. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Uh, 
heavy contact, top floor. So there's some announcement. I think you said Debbie contact the top floor. It makes me wonder. I suspect the third floor is the top floor. Don't know that for sure. But it makes me wonder if that announcement isn't doesn't have something to do with uh with not now, maybe later. Now watch what happens here. Again, this is what a jury's gonna see. <clears throat> now you see this black lady, she's talking on the phone. She approaches him, his camera draws a bead on her. Uh, matter of fact, it's two of them. And, you, and it's obvious at this point that she's talking about him. And there's evidently another one in the building, <laughs> right? They're white. Don't touch me. Yeah, they're white. So to me, you know, if I was a juror and I see this, it would be obvious to me that he knows what's going on. You know, if somebody walked up to me in a library and started doing that just randomly and I, wa and I wasn't sure what was going on, I'd be like, can I help you? You know, what's what's this all about? Right. Obviously, he knows that she works at the library. In fact, she's a security guard at the library. And he's uh, he, yeah, I think he it's clear that he understands that she doesn't want him there. Right. So what does he try to do? He tries to, vi <laughs> to video over. He's messing with. And he's like, look, you can try to block my view, but hey, look, I'll just raise my camera. Well, that's not really a response that you would expect to be given by somebody who didn't understand, you know, what was going on, why this uh, library person was. Um, he looks like he's got in his 50s. And um, it's obvious. Yeah, he's got like a It's obvious also that she's reporting him to the police, and I think he, he's aware of that, you know? Wouldn't you, if somebody was reporting you to the police and you were innocent of anything, wouldn't you be like, why are you calling the cops on me? What's going on here? What's the problem? I'm not for sure, because they're just going around the library recording, so can we get a... So now she's following him. He's zigzagging in and out of the, the, book, the bookshelves. Yes. Trying to shake her, I guess, I don't know. Leading her on a goose trace, Jake. Mm -hmm. Touch me again, I'll have a loss and file against no, you. Better. Yeah. Don't assault. So evidently, he's indicating that she put her hands on him at this point. Um, I don't think there's any video evidence of that, but. Help me. I'm not assaulting. You touch me. Do not touch me. No, ma'am. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on recording. Well, it doesn't matter. Get off of me. <laughs> and he's getting the. Uh... My name is uh, Jim Atkins. Okay, please. Because we don't know how many others is in the building. And they, oh, and he assaulted me. No, you grab my camera. You try to grab, you try to grab my camera. He assaulted me. Now, that was funny. He assaulted let's, me. Let's back that up and look at that again. Get off of me. <laughs> And he's getting a... Uh, you can see her hand, like, reach around him. Okay, please. Yes. Okay, I don't really need to play by play. We don't know how many others is in the building. And they, oh, and uh, he assaulted me. No, you grab my camera. Try to grab, you try to grab my camera. <laughs> so you see this he hand me. come around. Hey, this, leave him alone. This is where she claims that he assaulted her. I don't, I don't know that that's a legitimate assault on her part. I, I, I you know, on his part. But he's walking. She reaches around. Um, you know, tries to grab his camera. He pushes the camera away. I mean, you can't see any of this on video. Although there are cameras all over this library. And so hopefully, you know, if he had been smart, he would have asked them to preserve the, uh, the library camera footage. And he could request that as discovery. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, so this is the point where the alleged we don't know how many others assault is in the occurs. Right? You can see her hand came around the camera. And, uh, and evidently he forces it off. Let's watch that again in slow-mo. Don't sell me. You touch me. Do not touch me. No, ma'am. It's all. It's all. It's all. It's all recording. It doesn't matter. Get off of me. It doesn't matter. She said. And he's getting up. My name is Juicy Atkins. Juicy Atkins. All right. So here's where it happens. <clears throat> And all you can see okay. is her hand. But the reason I want to watch this in slow mo mm -hmm. is I notice that there's surveillance cameras all throughout the library. Right. So I want to see if maybe that might have got caught up. There's surveillance camera system. All right, so there's her hand. And they all in my Yeah. See, I mean, you can see that that camera there. Right. There's a camera here. Um, whether or not that might have caught anything, who knows? But if he was smart, he'd have them preserve any. It would have had them preserve any. Uh, CCTV camera coverage so that he could uh, request that as part of his discovery if he was actually going to trial. I mean, he could, he could make a much bigger deal out of this. Than... Uh, I'm not... At this point, she's evidently got him cornered. He, does, he doesn't seem to be struggling. It's almost like he's willingly standing there. Not for sure. Uh, he won my arm when I tried to get him. <coughs> and then uh, the customers on the third floor are calling the police too. <coughs> they see what he did. If that's her claim to assault, I'd say she really doesn't have anything. They've already offered they've already offered him to drop the assault charges in exchange for probation and you know, the, the trespass charge from the library, right? So, if and he's got the, currently as we speak, he's got that deal on the table. He hasn't responded to it. Uh, don't think he's going to take the deal. I think he's, uh, he's uh, dead set that he's going to go to trial and act as his own lawyer, which will be very entertaining for the rest of us. Another security guy, evidently. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get out of here. Thank you. No, you were my. You feed my fucking fragile. Get off me, lady. Can you corner me in a corner? Please do. Now he's on the second floor. Okay, I will. She's been chasing him around. Ma'am, you touched me. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm following charge against you. I'm following charge against you. No, I, you I got it on camera. It doesn't matter. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. No, it doesn't matter. Lady, who do you think you are? <laughs> you have to leave, sir. Ma'am, you you I'm, walk, I'm walking you, straight. It, See, she's told him he has to leave. I mean, there couldn't be any more clear that she's asking to leave. You walk straight. Oh, okay. He don't, don't, me. don't get on top of me, lady. Hey, guys, we're at the Tulsa Library. This lady right here will not let me walk. Because you have been asked to leave. No, I haven't. trespassing. I never was asked to leave. You're, I'm well, he just, she just asked you to leave not 10 seconds ago. 
<laughs> and he's like, I've never been asked to leave. Well, I mean, it's pretty clear that she's trying to get him to leave. I mean, since the very beginning of this interaction, no, no reasonable person would think that, you know, a security guard chasing you around like that doesn't want you want you to hang around. <laughs> All right. But he's saying that he hasn't been asked to leave. Well, just not even just a couple seconds ago, she asked him to leave. So he's wrong. Asking you to leave now. Well, I can't because you're in my way. No, I'm not. You're not in my way? Okay. Guys, if we can. <clears throat> Now, he is making his way towards the door. Ma'am, don't get in front of me. If you why, get in front of me, I'm going to walk. Why is she blocking his exit? I mean, and she's really adamant that she doesn't want him videoing. Like, there's something that he can see in there that, you know, what what's she doing? What in the world is so secretive at the library? Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. You were causing a big disturbance for no reason. <laughs> and so he turns around. Man, you just touched my nose. Don't. don't. Walks in a you different direction. <laughs> you push me. I'm the way I want to go. No, just you're not. To, <laughs> just to mess with her. And she doesn't want to yeah. video it. Okay. Oh, you will be in jail. Oh, okay. Okay. I got video proof to show it. Right. Well... What's prophetic is she's told him that he will be in jail. And at the end of the day, <laughs> he, he definitely does end up in jail. You see her keep trying to grab me and push on me, guys? It's assault. No. They've called the police. They've called the police. And uh, when they push gear, I will be following charges. <laughs> the ignorance of them. Ma'am, <laughs> you asked me to leave. Like, if you keep blocking me, I can't walk out the door, can I? No, not? you can't leave now. Oh, you ain't going to stop me. Oh. <laughs> All right. And now she doesn't want him to leave because the police is coming. You can't leave now. Well, I mean, I don't think she can legally prevent him from leaving if he wants to leave. There's not a whole lot that she can do. She doesn't have the authority to physically detain somebody. So she was most certainly in the wrong. Um, as far as any lawsuit that he may, uh, you know, he may get out of this, there really are no damages. You know, she didn't crack his skull open or anything like that. I'm not going to run. Oh, please don't. I'll wait right outside for him. Please don't. Okay. So, thank you for not assaulting me anymore. Oh, okay. And like I said, I will be filing charges against you for your ignorance. You're completely ignorant. <laughs> your ignorance. This lady right here, guys, is completely ignorant. Of the law, <laughs> she, we can't be your reporter. She, does she not can't like anybody question her authority. You see that? Watch this, watch this, watch this. We can't be your reporter. She can. She, she whacks him with her. See that? Well, you didn't already done it. <laughs> see that, guys? <laughs> you done already done it, boy. She, yeah, put she, your stuff in my face. She hit it with the camera. <laughs> bad boy. She bad. Hey guys, we start getting phone calls made. She's mad. She's just mad. News now, OKC is still in there being hemmed up. This lady <laughs> thought she was going to get in front of me and stop my uh, my uh, travel and wasn't happening. So she's now saying I assaulted her. We're at the Tulsa Library. Tulsa Library, guys. So that was basically it. <clears throat> you go down here where he gets arrested. It's like they they didn't arrest him for that incident, though. They arrest him because he went back. Why you grab me for? Why you grab me for? Well, for what? Turn around. Go pro. Go argue about it later. Go pro. Wow, that is some shit. I wish I had. I wish you did too. I wish I had it too. Who am I talking with? Okay. So you get, I'm sorry, this it's all black the here. Library. No, you're not allowed to go in my pockets. Huh? You're not allowed to go in my pockets. What's this? My cigarettes. That's what that is. Okay. I didn't say what's this. I said watch this. Okay, I'm watching it. And you're, you're being recorded. You. You're being recorded too. That's good. I don't understand what the problem is. 
You are a problem causer. That's I'm a problem <laughs> causer. You are a problem causer. You've been told. I've been told what? To not come back there and, not and I left. Problems. And I left, did I not? Eventually, after about an hour. I've been on the public sidewalk, correct? Are you a supervisor? Huh? Are you a no. supervisor? No, okay. I'm your arresting I need, officer. I need, I need to speak here as your supervisor, please. <laughs> no, I'm your arresting well, officer. Well, you can this, talk to him. He's right there. This police officer is a little smart ass. <laughs> you know, you can't go in my pocket. Oh, yeah, watch this. You are a problem causer. <laughs> he's right where? Okay. There's all this stuff. That's my phone and charger. Why are we all here? See, and there, and and you can hear them in the background talk about them filming through the windows. <laughs> oh, and they, so you put all that on top of my phone. That police officers, there's nobody out here that's going to protect your rights more than we are. <laughs> yeah, boy, you know, that's that's hilarious. That is like one of the most hilarious things you can expect to hear a police officer say. Come on. Are we, do we really believe that? Scratching that screen? Is that what we're doing? There's a pocket on this side. Sorry, you're doing what? There's a pocket on this side. There's nothing in the pocket. I already pocket. got that. Okay, I already got that. I'm just trying to help you out. Nobody out here that's going to protect your rights more than we are as they're uh, locking him in handcuffs and taking him to jail. I do, dude. We all something aggressive like. I'm going to be aggressive to you. Yeah, you have been. Aaron's pretty, he's pretty vicious there. Yeah, I'm a, one of those really vicious guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I try not to be too intimidating. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't intimidate me. Don't understand that. You don't intimidate. You work for us, so you don't intimidate me. But I mean, I appreciate you. You supervisor? I am. Don't intimidate. So, can you tell me what's going what on here? You yeah, you're yeah. going to jail for uh, you're going to jail for trespassing and for disturbing the peace. Okay, for trespassing. Where would I, where would I trespass at? If you don't mind me asking. Well, you 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 trespassed. Basically, when you decided to come up on the window and start filming again. And they told me to leave, and I left. They told me to leave, and I left. So. Evidently, he trespassed, so they, they asked him to leave, but right? he goes out on the sidewalk, <clears throat> supposedly. I mean, you, and there's no video, as far as I'm aware of any of this. And then evidently, he went back up to a window and started videoing. So I don't know if they construed that as him coming back on property or what. But the trespass seems to be, you know, different than the original him leaving you know trying to leave and that black lady chasing him around kind of thing i mean your officers right there okay. they can well, tell you that well then we'll this be an interesting deal in court yeah. won't it yeah. okay and nobody's trying to intimidate okay <laughs> and the okay. police officer said yeah this will be an interesting door, deal okay. in court let's let's rewind that one more time and listen to that again if we're trespassing where would i, where I trespass that if you don't mind me asking well you you, you trespassed Basically, when you decided to come up on the window and start filming again. And they told me to leave, and I left. They told me to leave, and I left. Well, I mean, your officers right there. Okay. They can well, tell you that. Well, then we'll inter this will be an interesting deal in court, yeah. won't it? Yeah. Okay. And nobody's trying to intimidate you. Okay. So, I wish we had video of that part of the interaction. Then we could see what the police officer is actually talking about. So, I'm afraid that what this is going to come down to on the trespasses. It's going to be his word against theirs, and they're probably he's probably going to lose that part of it. You know, he was obviously there to instigate. He was he was obviously uh, not wanted there. It was, he was well aware of it, um, and that's the way a, a, a jury a jury is going to see it. <clears throat> and so they're going to say, you know, he's he's instigating. Uh, he was asked to leave. He kind of didn't leave. He hung out and. And, you know, the, the, but as far as the assault charge, uh, I can't see them convicting him of that unless they have some sort of video evidence of it. Um, you know, it was really the other way around. She was assaulting him, although it wasn't any <laughs> anything super, super big. So anyway, I don't think things are going to go quite well for not now, maybe later this trial, watching it to see what happens. Um, maybe I'll do an update on it after.
it occurs after his trial occurs probably should happen next week uh, based on um, well no it's uh, I'm sorry so next week is is his uh, deadline to respond to their plea bargain and then I think he's got like April first week in April or something so before they actually figure out this this thing's gonna drag on for a while and it's already drug on forever um, but yeah I'm watching it because it's interesting to see how it turns out when a uh, when a, a, a foolish person decides to act as their own attorney on something like this so what are the consequences for him well this guy's already got a history you know I think he's He's out on probation for drug charges or something along those lines. Um, and, you know, for this particular little crime spree, <laughs> there's really not much of a consequence. I mean, I think he, he said that, uh, you know, worst case scenario is get 90 days in jail for the trespassing, right? If the assault, you know, if he gets convicted of the assault, which I can't imagine, then that's probably a lot worse, but it is going to impact his probation as well, right? So he may be going back to the clink uh, for violating his probation on top of that. So if you're on probation, again, if you don't have an attorney, again, don't engage in this sort of thing. You're just stupid. And not now, maybe later is getting out of the game, you know, probably a little bit late, but uh, yeah, he's, he's, retiring from this sort of activity, um, which makes sense. All right. That's my review. Y'all, y'all have a good one later. Bye.